Oh my god guys, it's been way too long. I was gonna say it's been so long and then it came out all together and I haven't talked in front of a camera for such a long time so we're gonna have to like relearn how to vlog here. In the morning, it's early, I'm getting ready for work. Grayson is watching Jake and the Neverland Pirates out in his little child prison. And uh, I decided that because I posted a video yesterday, I am going to start to vlog again. And if you haven't checked out the video already, go to it. I'm gonna leave a link for it somewhere here <laughs> on the screen. Um, but it just kind of explains a little bit why I haven't really vlogged in five months. And not for anything bad, just for, you know, kind of taking a break, re-engaging, you know, with my family, and just really um, focusing on the rest of Grayson's first year of life. And he is almost 13 months. What's today's date? He is 13 months today. <laughs> So, we're gonna vlog. By the way, this candle, best thing ever. Got it at Target. It smells like, it smells like my grandpa. And it's just like, it just warms my heart. It just smells like wood, a wood burning stove. Um, and like tobacco. I don't know, it just smells really, really good. All right, well, I'm gonna go get ready. So last weekend I cleaned out my closet and although it still kind of looks really really stuffy um, there used to be shoes like all here and you couldn't even walk in and so we got these shoe racks at Ikea and um, basically I like put you know all my maternity stuff and all of my like big bulky winter sweaters in these tubs so kind of like freed up some space but it's raining out today, so I'm gonna get my hunter boots and and uh, this is what we're gonna this is what we're gonna wear to work. All right, don't mind my dirty mirror, but here's my outfit. I'm all ready. We're ready for the day. Hey guys, I'm sitting in my work parking lot um, and it's raining as you can see. I'm just seeing when would be a good time to exit because the traffic is getting backed up um, to exit. And surprisingly, in this whole friggin' area of buildings, there's only kind of one, one road to get out anyway. Um, I was gonna do like a car update thing and I don't know how I feel about that. Talking to the camera is kind of like strange now. Like, this is, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. I like when it rains out actually. I enjoy when it's raining. I got my rain boots on, I got my hunter rain boots, which I should, I, I think I showed you. And then my raincoat. Which by the way, this is the best investment I've, I've made, is buying a raincoat versus an umbrella. 
this is so much more practical. I don't know. I just, I like, I like the raincoat over the umbrella. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So, the video I made the other day kind of explains things, but not really. Like there's just, in the, in the past five months, there's so many things that I, that I want to tell you guys. Like there's just, and, and for myself, like I love having the vlogs from when I first gave birth. Like when Grayson was really, really little, I, you can forget how little they, they look. Um, it's just incredible how much they change within the first year. And I look back on my labor and delivery story vlog and uh, just Grayson is so little and I just forgot like, you know, him looking like that. I, I, I just, it's incredible. So, um, like I definitely want to continue vlogging because I don't want to miss any of these things. The things that I want to tell you, um, which the video that I made the other day doesn't really tell you a lot is so I turned 30 in January and I decided that I was going to do a series of 30 day challenges so my first two challenges I tried I attempted um, a no swear word challenge for 30 days and then I did a squat challenge for 30 days I failed within the first day for the, the no swearing. I'm still working on it. So these like the challenges have kind of like, if there's something like that that I can incorporate easily throughout my day, I kind of like just extend the 30 day challenge. But I did the squat challenge. I failed miserably on the no swear word challenge. My next challenge, which started in February, mid-February, was to go plant-based. Um, I can't say that I've gone vegan because I own like a leather bracelet, I have a leather belt, um, the interior of my car is leather. So by me saying that I'm going vegan isn't really like being honest. Um, but I am fully plant-based now and I have not purchased any new items since going plant-based. I haven't purchased any new items that I haven't done any, you know, I haven't purchased any leather products um, and, and animal, um, animal, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? But anyway, you get, you get the gist. So I've been plant-based in my diet um, since mid-February and it was supposed to be a 30-day challenge and I just kind of stuck with it. So, um, which leads me into getting to my pre-pregnancy weight. I'm actually, um, I weigh less than I did uh, pre-pregnancy. I'm a few pounds less and I attribute that to my plant-based diet and which is why I continue to stick with it um, beyond the 30 days. So I've been plant-based since mid-February and now it's the beginning of June and I there's no looking back. Like I don't miss anything because being plant-based has been so um, fruitful, <laughs> no pun intended, but fruitful for me. Um, I. I'm just, I'm thriving, and so I've just decided to stay with it. Um, and then my next 30-day challenge, so I stuck with the with being plant-based since February, but uh, mid-March, I did um, a push-up challenge for 30 days. Then mid-April, uh, I did sign language. Um, I wanted to learn as much as I possibly could in 30 days about sign language and learning to sign. And now I took a class in college, um, so I already had a textbook and everything. So um, I basically just revisited the textbook and like learned basic, you know, signs like hello, how are you, how are you doing, colors, numbers, etc. So I tried learning as, mo as much as I could within 30 days. Um, May. I did, um, oh yeah, I started the Fitbit challenge. So taking, I got a Fitbit, I bought a Fitbit, 
and um, a bunch of people from work are doing a Fitbit challenge so they kind of got me into you know doing doing the challenge where I will do 10,000 steps a day which is the recommended amount you're supposed to take which roughly equates to about four and a half to five miles depending on your stride length and everything like that so I've challenged myself to go 10,000 steps a day and I've continued that so it's not just a May challenge it's going I'm just going to continue that for as long as I possibly can um, and June I have to figure out a challenge for June so I basically kind of figure out the next 30 day challenge like once mid the mid month is coming up where I'd have to select my next 30 day so whew, that was a lot um, this video is getting long and I'm rambling so I'm going to end it here. I've kind of explained my 30 day challenges and that's kind of where what I've been doing um, these past couple months. Nothing really super exciting except you saw Grayson's milestones in the video that I posted the other day. Um, that was kind of like I condensed, I condensed a lot of stuff into like two minutes. I was really, really proud of myself. Really proud. I'm making up for it now though because this video is almost nine minutes long and I've said absolutely nothing. I'm talking about absolutely nothing. Anyway, let me, before I sign off, let me just tell you, it has been so wonderful. Like this weight has been lifted off of my shoulders posting that video the other day. I, I've just been so anxious. Like, oh, I gotta do this video. I gotta do a video for you. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, and finally like I have my camera out and I'm doing it and I don't know it's just like it's such a relief to just kind of talk to you guys to talk at you um so I feel a lot better I don't know there's just some there was like this stress that I didn't realize I was holding on to and finally I feel like something has has given. I don't know. Something has um, something. I don't. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I feel a lot better. I feel much better about it. So I'm really excited to start doing vlogs again. And thank you so much for sticking with me. And I have 87 subscribers. Hello. Hi, you new guys. <laughs> um, welcome to its daily life. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> Was that, is that like a laugh cry? Oh, big hug, big hug, big hug. I love my big hugs from Grayson. We're watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse right now. Um, I'm just gonna hop in the shower real quick and Pat is going to be making some vegan beef stroganoff obviously it's beefless we're using mushrooms and um, eggless noodles and uh, it should be really good um, I got these recipes from this BuzzFeed uh, website they did 30 vegan recipes or 30 vegan din dinners and I think we've tried six of them off of that list and each and every one of them that we've tried have been like amazing so this is a new recipe that we're trying off of this list of 30 so I think we'll have tried like like I said six and now this will be the seventh so hey hey can you give mommy a big hug big hug Oh, it's okay, sweetheart. This is his new thing. So I bought some stuff on Amazon to make my nice creams. And I got these um, coconut, toasted coconut chips. Those are delicious. And then these raw cacao nibs. I think that's how you pronounce cacao, cacao. Um, and I'm just going to cut up my bananas now to make and freeze them to make nice cream for tomorrow's breakfast.
Alright, so these are going in the freezer and tomorrow morning for breakfast, I'm going to have myself some ice cream. Um, and I'm going to use the, the toppings that I showed you earlier. You wouldn't believe for these two ginormous bags of like organic, fair trade, toasted coconut and cacao nibs, together they were 24 bucks. I'm buying all my stuff like that on Amazon from now on. That was just crazy, crazy cheap.